Joey's Up Squad, it is your squid. Uh, you've stumbled across my YouTube channel, Anxious Squid Productions, if you're not a regular subscriber, that is. Uh, it's about 20 minutes to the draft at the time of recording this uh, in 2020, the NFL draft, that is. And uh, yeah, there's rumours. It's, it's pretty much guaranteed that this guy, Joe Burrow, is apparently going to go number one. So I figured I'd record this now. It'll probably not be edited until during the draft, maybe after the draft, who knows, all right? So if this guy goes number one, called it, but everyone called it. And if he doesn't, maybe it'll get the clicks because, you know, whatever. But let's get into it, right? Joe Burrow. Thanks for your patience uh, in between videos across the last few weeks, guys. It's been really helpful to have you guys still here and watching videos and stuff like that. I hope to have, you know, three to four videos every day for you now. I'm going to go gangbusters now that I've got my own space and a consistent spot to leave the camera. I don't have to set it up and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but yeah, Joe Burrow, apparently he's going to go number one. I'm going to say that he did go number one, even though it's still, you know within 20 minutes to a half hour from happening. I want to check out his highlights either way. Apparently he's a Cincinnati kid, so let's check it out, right? Joe Burrow now with his first opportunity Ohio State. Obviously, if you want to watch the video, it's there without me in it and without my reaction. Uh, the link will be in the description. Yeah, that would have been a bit of a uneasy locker room. Nobody believed me. I told you. <laughs> man, has he emerged this season? Just amazing to see Joe Burrow. I like the confidence, though. Like, don't get me wrong. Boy, did Joe have a great week last week? It's a good fake. Oh, that's a small hole that he needed to get it through to get that catch. Like, get it to where it, the hole mate could catch it, you know what I mean? Yeah, all the time in the world, that's great work. Oh, and he, another tiny hole down the field. I mean, he had a long time to decide where to throw it, but he, he still executed the, the throw absolutely brilliantly. Oh, and he can dance as well, he can get around them. Great catch. But it needed to be over the top. He was out the back, so it needed to be over the top. That's a great throw as well. This is one of the best quarterbacks I've seen that's not in the NFL yet. I mean, he probably is by the time you're watching this, but yeah. He's got good poise as well. Keeps his center of gravity. Stays upright, you know. Doesn't bend all that much. I don't know what that is. But... Good throw. It's another one where it needed to be centimetre perfect or inch perfect or quarter inch perfect, you know what I mean? Like, no options, has a bit of a job, makes an option. Nice. I like that purple uniform as well. If you're an LSU fan, send me a hat, that'd be sick. I mean, or don't, you know, like if you have a spare hat and you want it to be on the wall, no matter what team it is really, but wow, yeah, he's got a good arm, doesn't he? He's got good vision too. I can sort of believe the hype now, I understand why he's going number one, or he's said to be going number one. Maybe I should do a series on number one draft picks and like their, and their college highlights. I'm gonna. That's a good idea. How's the tiger's eye on the field? That's cool. Gives it the heave ho. That's what he needed though. Well, that rhymed. I, I, I didn't know it. I mean, I did know it actually. I do poetry a lot. But. Oh, shut up, sorry. This is well edited. Is that Tiger's Eye again? Must be LSU's. 
Graham. Gave the defender no option there. There was no in for the defender at that point. Oh, nice little shove by 73. But nine, oh, far out. Look at him go, he gets the spin as well. Did he get that down? So he's got the run and play, he's got the arm, he's got the vision, he's got it all, doesn't he? Alright, I believe the hype. I know I say that every video, I always believe the hype. I haven't yet come across where the hype is unjustified in this sport, but it's... Who's that number one? The receiver, is he likely to go pretty highly as well? There he is again. And again. Oh, that's Chase Young. I think they've been saying that he's going to go at two or three, or Haskins will or something. It'll be interesting. I'm probably going to be talking about him in the next few days as well. It's amazing how they're always in combination like that, isn't it? Like, best quarterback in college, best wide receiver in college, best tight end. They're generally all within the same division or team or... You know what I mean? Like they, they, they bounce off each other, they vibe off each other. Front back into the pocket, gets a tight little dart throw if you don't mind. And again. That's alright, close enough to the down, get a run and play in there. I hope this music doesn't get me copyright strikes actually now I think about it. But Obviously this is a highlights package and they're not going to show him giving up on the play, I don't think, but I haven't seen him slide once. Yeah. Oh, a crush. He's got John Emery Jr. in the backfield now. And Burrow lobs it downfield. That's a good throw to an open man. Another great little over-the-top dart throw to a man that was open. He's good. He can read the play well. I don't know what that is. Oh, they beat Alabama. Yeah, he won the Heisman, that's right. Year for the team, but for that guy in particular... Two years at Ohio State, did not play very much, attempted about 45, 46 passes, looked for a place to go, made the decision to come here. Seems like a wise decision in hindsight, doesn't it? Ha, <laughs> that's funny, Burrow. Let's get a Burrow. What's that about? Burrow. Look at it, like, is it like... Look at them all giving him a... Stoked as well. That'd be a big achievement for him, for sure. Coach O. Oh, that's touching. You have no idea what you mean to my family? He probably does, bro. That's, that's nice, though. Look at him crying. That's nice. Like, obviously, it's not nice that anyone cries, but it's good to see a dude like that's, no, that's not afraid to show emotion, years. you know? You took a chance on me. Not 
not knowing if I could play or not. Forever grateful for you. Can you imagine a guy like Coach O giving me the keys to, to his football program? Yeah, I get it. It just means so much to me and my family. And to LSU. The check down. Edward Zelayer runs out of bounds, and that looks like the record it is. And Joe Burrow now holds the SEC record for most passing yards in a wow. single season. All righty. Four and a half thousand, that's not bad. They bring a blitz. Is this the record tire? Flag down, it's a touchdown for Jamar Chase. And if it stands, it's the fourth. Jamar Chase, not Chase, whatever I said. Alright, maybe I was wrong. To tie the SEC record. There's a run himself, he gets there too. Good work, son. Sack had the wherewithal to get it to someone. Oh, and how's the drive to get the down too? I might give this, I might give LSU a look this coming season. Still running those. Oh, he caught a big hit there. See, that's the stuff where I get weary. I go, oh, can he make that transition? Everything says to me that he will be able to make the transition. Don't get me wrong. Like, you don't go at number one if you're a schmuck. But, like, that kind of hit in the NFL, and you're maybe not playing the rest of the game, you know? Oh, and he takes another hit there. Good amount of time to throw. Finds a target, old mate absorbs the hit, takes one for the team, scores the touchdown. I like it. I'm cranking up on the throttle, the tree is mine. Show you the heart of the battle, harder. I, I love to watch with Joe Burrow, it's just to watch his mind work, watch him drop back and work through progressions. He's looking underneath. Right, no, not there, not there. Yes, there, nailed it. He threw it to where he was going to be, not where he was. Oh, that's a great catch by Mr. Number Two. Yeah, there we go. Look at those hands. Pressure off the edge, world downfield, bro, and the catch is made. Nine, six, eight. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, nah, I get it. I get it. This it's good. Is how legends are made. Oh, dances around it too. From made the play. Oh, 58, you're a bit of a dog, bro. You drove with your head after he let go of the ball, but all right. This game's Bammer as well. Far out, he can, he can get him through those holes, can't he? Like this one, I, don't, I wouldn't even know how to hold it properly to throw it, you know what I mean? Saturday night in Death Valley, as we I said, can kick no though, I can punch. But... Like oh, I'm starting to get anticipating, you know? Like, I'm starting to get anticipating. That's not a sentence. I'm feeling all anticipatory, neither is that. You know what I'm saying. just a finalist for it. Whereas the, that awarded it after the championship game. Never understood why, like in the AFL back home, I think in the NFL as well, they award the season awards 
like in the week before the Super Bowl equivalent. Like, never understood that, you know? Like, just let the cunt play. He doesn't need to play with a medal around his neck. They bring pressure right in his face. I like the uniforms of Ole Miss, like the blue and the red. He's bloody good, isn't he? Do he makes an impact right from the get-go in the NFL? What, does suddenly Cincinnati go up the up the rankings, you know? Is he a game-changer for them? Or does he take a couple of years to not be too green, you know? Does he take a couple of years to adapt to the NFL? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section, obviously. I reckon he's bloody good, but I also acknowledge I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. So... <laughs> Cool, mad respect, props to the fans. Go Burrow. Louisiana State University. I mean, some of those dudes were fucking flash, weren't they? Have a look at their suits here. Go Burrow. Mr. Schmick. Have a look at old mate on the right, he's wearing like a snakeskin suit or scaly sort of suit. That's cool. He looks like something straight out of Black Panther. The other two, don't get me wrong, they're also dapper. Everyone there is dapper. But old mate with the dreads and the red scales, like that's fucking cool. I'd wear that University. shit. That's mad. He just means so much to me and my family. This is a well edited video. And to LSU. I uh, sure hope they give him a lifetime contract. He deserves it. <laughs> <laughs> That's mad. Giving the props and the shout out to your coach in your Heisman Award winning speech. That's fucking sick. Good on that guy. That's mad. Alright, well I'm happy to put this one in my done pile in my NCAA. It's not the NCAA playlist anymore, it's just a non-NFL football playlist. Uh, but yeah, I'm happy to put that, that one in there. This is a list of players from the former, now defunct XFL and from the NCAA. Um, I'm going to open it up to any spring league, right? Or anything like that, or any non-NFL related football, maybe the CFL or whatever. If you see a player that is one of your favourite players from the sport of football, but hasn't maybe had an impact at the NFL level or anything, and you want me to check out their highlights... Let me know, I'll put, them on this play I'll put them on this list, right? And they'll go into this playlist. Uh, if you see someone that's already on the list that you want me to do sooner, again, spam me in the comments section and I might do them sooner. Uh, these are my patrons. They're, they're mad dogs. You could be a mad dog too. Join them up. Give me some money. That'd be sick. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get on with it. It's, I timed that really well. I have one minute until the draft starts, so I'm going to go and watch it now. Who knows? You can let me know. I'll probably already know, but I don't currently know. Time is a strange concept, isn't it? Watch some of my other videos, hit the subscribe button, do me a solid. Thanks. I'll see you when I look at you. You'll see me when you look at me. Thanks for watching.